idea that it didn't sound cheesy and commercial was a big appeal because, you know, no one wants to be spoon-fed shite from the charts, do they? I was in a youth club and the whole the experience of the music with these lads who were like older lads from school who would never show any emotion were suddenly in this kind of, you know, dramatic situation where they were a spectacle and they didn't give a shit. I said to my cousin, my older cousin, what's this? What is it? What's going on? She went, oh, it's Northern Soul. <laughs> <laughs> We sort of took over when we kind of got going. And uh, there was still people hanging around who were into status quo or whatever who were really annoyed about it, but there's nothing they could do. For me, Northern Soul, more than anything, is about the people. It's about the characters that it kind of attracts, how extreme they are, how obsessive they are. You know that every single person is going through every beat of that record with you. And you know that when you do that, <laughs> It's all going to happen at that moment. And it's that sort of feeling of like, it's almost like you're all running the same race together. Do you know what I mean? And then that break's coming up. You're like, here we go. We're all ready for this. Right, bang. And you're up there. Do you know what I mean? And you're spinning or whatever. And you can just, in your periphery, you can just see it all happening around you. And everyone else is locked into it as well. You're making me remember a lot, actually. <laughs>